begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. And notice what that feels like to feel comfortable in your body. Notice where specifically you feel comfort in your body. And take the time to feel what that's like. What exactly are those sensations like? It's as if you were eating a delicious dessert from a fine restaurant. You were taking the time to really savor each and every bite. What does that comfort feel like? And from here, allow your body to relax. Notice if there's any tension that's present in your body, anywhere you're, where your muscles are holding tightness. And gently invite those places to relax, to loosen, to let go. Relax your body. And in just the same way, if there's any pleasure or joy or satisfaction in that relaxation. Notice what that's like and really enjoy it. If there are any enjoyable experiences at all during this practice period, give yourself the gift of truly enjoying them really savoring them, even if they're small. If a friend gave you a small present, very small box handed that to you, you wouldn't slap it away. So don't do that with your experience. Really enjoy any pleasure that you find in your body. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, 
Invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a simple smile, allowing your physical body to incline you towards happiness. And enjoy this configuration of your body, being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. And without losing these qualities in your body, begin to involve your mind. Use your mind to reflect on and consider things in your life that you're grateful for. Whatever that might be for you. And tell yourself about that in your mind using mental talk. It should sound something like this. I feel grateful for my friends. I feel grateful for the food that I had to eat today. I feel grateful that I am physically safe. You'll have to discern for yourself what it is that you're grateful for but feel into that and tell yourself about it. Reflect on gratitude for a few moments. In just the same way, if the feeling of gratitude arises in your body, notice that and really enjoy it. This too is a dessert you can savor.
Very good. Now, consider someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. Whoever that is for you. Could be a friend or family member. Could be a small child or a pet. You could simply imagine a baby or a dog or a cat. Or use a fictional character that you like. Anyone's fair game. So long as you have a relatively simple feeling tone of love for this person. It's not a complicated relationship for you. You just love them. You just care about them. Bring such a person to mind. And again, use mental talk to send them well wishes. To cultivate goodwill towards them. You could use the same phrase over and over again, like, I love you, or may you be happy, or I care about you. Or you could use many different phrases, perhaps customizing them to this person and your relationship with them. Doesn't really so matter so much how you do it, so long as you're cultivating love and goodwill towards this person. Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind. Whatever feels right for you. Something like, I love you so much. Or I care about you so dearly. Let it be like you're speaking directly to this person in your mind telling them about how you love them and care about them. And again, to whatever extent you feel love or happiness or joy in your heart, as you cultivate love for this easy to love person or animal, notice that and really enjoy it. You may or may not feel feelings of love from practicing this technique, but if you do, really savor them. feelings of love are 
not only pleasurable, but deeply wholesome and nourishing. It's safe to enjoy them. In a moment, we'll transition to the main technique. To whatever extent you've cultivated this love in your heart, there's no need to set that aside. Feel free to maintain that and even to grow it. Consider, as a kind of question in your heart, what is it exactly about this easy-to-love person or animal that makes it easy for you to love them? See if you can notice the qualities that they have, particular circumstances that make you feel so warmly towards them. Notice that and enjoy that. Dig a little deeper. Is there anything about them that's less circumstantial, less particular? Is there a way in which they are lovable simply because they are alive, because they are a living being? Ask your heart that, not your head, and see what it answers.
Very good. Now, imagine that you are out for an errand, doing some kind of ordinary task that you normally do, and you come across someone you've never met before. See if you can direct this same heart towards this imaginary stranger that you met. Is there a way that you can notice that they deserve to be happy simply because they are alive? That they're worthy of love and respect and care? This stranger also wants to be happy. This stranger also appreciates kindness. This stranger appreciates safety and health in good circumstances. Stranger also wishes to be free of suffering. Can you notice this deep sameness that all beings share? The miracle of being alive. The desire to be happy and free from suffering. You wish this for this stranger that you've met, that they might be happy, free from suffering. You wish that for all beings. Can you notice the miracle of life wherever it manifests itself? Knowing that it is worthy of love and respect 
and care. And you wish that all beings might be happy and free from suffering. Simply because they're alive. Let your love extend to those who are near and those who are far. Those that we know and those that we don't. The people we like and the ones we don't. The humans and the non-humans. those who are present now at this time and those past and future. Those who are in this realm and any beings that may exist anywhere in any realm. Let your love expand to all beings. allow yourself to consider for a moment that at any given time, somewhere in this universe or in other realms, it may very well be the case that there are beings and bodhisattvas that are directing love to all beings. That this is the appropriate task of one who loves. And that that love includes you, that you are loved. Allow yourself to feel and enjoy that love. Take a moment to consider 
whether there is some way that this love might wish to manifest in your life, some act of kindness that you might take to express this love. If there is, if that feels good, set that intention. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out in the meditation. <laughs> 